When you're working with your wireless networks, you'll see a configuration setting called the Service Set Identification. This may also be abbreviated usually to SSID. And this identifies a wireless network by a name that we can recognize. Of course, all wireless access points have physical addresses associated with them. Those addresses are called BSSIDs, or Basic Service Set Identifiers. And that is effectively the MAC address of that access point. Normally, the end user doesn't see this, because it would be difficult to remember the exact MAC address of an access point that we would need to connect to. So instead of doing that, we can give them names that we would recognize. You can see on my Kismac that I was running on my machine, I saw a number of access points with their SSIDs running in my particular neighborhood, and a lot of BSSIDs that I happen to can pull out and view as well. So as you're configuring your access point, you'll also decide on a common name that you might use or something that might identify that access point so that other users can see it and then connect to it. This, of course, brings up a number of questions about the configuration of these SSIDs. Because they're being broadcast out, it's really easy to see a list of those in a particular application in your operating system or in a specialized analysis program like I was using. So most of the time, you want your end users to be able to see your access point very easily. But this broadcast feature can be disabled. You might want to turn it off so that generally it becomes invisible to most people. This is one of the ways to do it is to enable or disable the SSID broadcast right in the configuration of your access point. Now, just because you made it invisible doesn't mean that nobody can connect to it. If you know the name, you can absolutely still connect to that device. It's not a security measure. Even if somebody is initially connecting to it, that information is being transmitted out. So if somebody's looking at a wireless connection and they're using analysis tools to be able to do that, they'll still be able to see your SSID. There's no hiding that. Even if they're encrypting the rest of that communication, the SSID is always sent in the clear. And even worse, some programs can act as fake access points that pretend to be access points, and you'll end up connecting to someone's computer, and then they'll be able to see everything that you happen to send over that wireless network. So you want to be very careful about whether you enable or disable that wireless broadcast. But even then, be also careful about what access points you happen to connect to.